Hello YouTube and hi Sagittarius. This is going to be a reading for you for October 26th um, and 27th. I'm going to first do five of these tea leaf fortune cards and I kind of mix them up in the bag and I don't look when I get them. So. Then after that I'll do a guardian angel oracle card and a three card tarot spread for you. I think that's five. One, yeah. Okay. So, first one is bird flying. News is on the way. That's good to know. Oh, goodness. Bat. Um, and Leo got this one, too. Take care. Enemies are working against you. The bat spirit. Mule, somebody is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. <laughs> Tulip, great passion. And the owl, good advice from a wise person. So this is probably um, about dealing with some, somebody that's being a little hard to deal with. Then we're gonna do the Guardian Angel card. Sagittarius, October 26th, 27th. Good news about, maybe good news about a passion of yours. Usually those cards just kind of mean individual things depending on your situation and how you can relate you know, the, how you relate those cards to your life. They actually might mean different things for you. Okay, Sagittarius. We have Angel of the Night Sky. That one's really pretty. Angel of the Night Sky. And I will read that for you. Let's see, it's number 32. Angel of the Night Sky says you are a wise soul of the universe. The night sky will give you the answers that you seek to guide your soul. The affirmation is I am guided and enlightened by my angel of the night sky. I have clarity and wisdom and I know that I'm never alone. You've received this card because the angel of the night sky wants you to know that there's a big wide world out there waiting for you to explore. And sometimes we get stuck and caught up with everyday pressures of the world. This is a time to remind you take uh, take time out of a busy schedule and reconnect with the universe you live in. Go outside for some stargazing. The angel of the night sky wants you to notice the phases of the moon and the movement of the planet and stars. Look at the constellations and the Milky Way and focus on a star. Make this star your very own special star of guidance and release. If you do this, the angel of the night sky wants you to surrender and release any stress, worries, fears, frustrations, or anger that you have with you in the present time. So that's sweet. So the angels are telling you to do some stargazing, Sagittarius. Focus on surrendering and letting go. Okay, we're well, gonna do um, a three card spread. The first one's gonna be what you need to embrace. The second thing is gonna be what you need to accept. And the third thing is what you need to let go, which the angel, uh, angel of the night sky is telling you to let go of your fears and frustrations. Okay, Sagittarius, Let's see what we got. Embrace. Embrace. Two of Cups. Embrace your relationship. Accept milestones. Sometimes a uh, twin twin flame too. Let go. The Six of Pentacles. So on the embrace, we have the Two of Cups, which some people um, would associate with Gemini. 
but it's clarified by the world. So there's some kind of completion. There's um, a reason to celebrate. I almost see this as a wedding band when it's combined with the lovers. On the flip side, this could be a completion of a karmic relationship that's just wrapping up. But I don't think that's what it is because we have on the accept, we have accept um, with, you know, the 1111, we have the twin flame card. This is the card about making milestones in life, um, meeting your meeting your milestones, such as getting married, which is very similar to what this suggests. Clarified by the Three of Cups. So, how could you not accept making memories, making great memories with people you cherish and love, and having a party, a celebration? Letting go. When the Six of Pentacles comes up for letting go, then you need to let go of giving too much of your energy without getting in exchange. So maybe there's somebody that you've been giving too much to, um, some maybe your time, maybe your money. We'll clarify it by the three of wands. Okay, I, I kind of see this as um, when we're looking in the past, which this guy is looking in the future, but if you're looking in the past, then you can stay in that depressed state. And when you worry about the future, like this card, the Three of Wands, then you can get anxious and it can cause some anxiety. So we don't wanna live in the future and we don't wanna live in the past. We wanna celebrate the past and celebrate our milestones, but we don't wanna overdo it with ourselves by giving too much and expecting stuff in return. We need to be realistic by what we do expect from people. And don't burn yourself out. Oh my goodness, we got lots of Gemini in this reading. We have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. So, uh, Sagittarius, I hope you like this, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching.